What is serpentinization? Serpentinization is a geological process that occurs when water interacts with ultramafic rocks, such as peridotite, which contain high levels of magnesium and iron. It is named after the resulting rock, serpentinite, which is typically green in color and has a scaly or reptilian appearance due to its fibrous texture. The process of serpentinization begins when water seeps into the rock and reacts with minerals such as olivine and pyroxene, causing them to break down into new minerals, primarily serpentine. This process releases hydrogen gas, which can fuel microbial communities that live in the rock. Over time, the rock can become more porous and permeable, allowing for more water and gases to penetrate the rock and continue the process of serpentinization. Serpentinization can have significant implications for geology, geochemistry, and even astrobiology. The process can lead to the formation of unique mineral assemblages and can also result in the release of large amounts of hydrogen gas, which has the potential to be a significant energy source for microbial life. In addition, the presence of serpentinization on other planets, such as Mars and some moons of Jupiter and Saturn, has led to speculation that it could be a possible indicator of past or present life. Serpentinization can also have economic implications, as serpentinite is used in a variety of industrial applications, including as a decorative stone and as a building material. However, the extraction and processing of serpentinite can have significant environmental impacts, and as such, it is important to consider the potential costs and benefits of exploiting these resources. How does serpentinization occur? Serpentinization occurs when water interacts with ultramafic rocks, which are typically composed of minerals such as olivine, pyroxene, and chromite. These rocks are found in the Earth's mantle and can be brought to the surface through processes such as tectonic activity and volcanic eruptions. The process of serpentinization begins when water seeps into the rock and reacts with the minerals present. The reaction between water and the minerals causes the rock to break down and release new minerals, primarily serpentine.it is a hydrous magnesium silicate mineral that is the primary product of serpentinization. The reaction between water and the minerals in the rock also releases hydrogen gas, which can be an important energy source for microbial life. Microbial communities that thrive in the high-temperature environments associated with serpentinization use the hydrogen gas as a source of energy and can play an important role in the overall process. Serpentinization can occur under a variety of conditions, including high temperatures and pressures, and in the presence of various chemical compounds such as carbon dioxide and methane. The process can also occur at different rates depending on the specific mineralogy of the ultramafic rock and the temperature and pressure conditions. Serpentinization has been observed in a variety of settings, including at mid-ocean ridges, where new oceanic crust is formed, and in subduction zones, where oceanic crust is recycled back into the mantle. It has also been observed in settings such as ophiolites, which are slices of oceanic crust that have been uplifted onto land, and in kimberlite pipes, which are volcanic pipes that bring diamond-bearing material to the surface. Overall, serpentinization is a complex process that plays an important role in the Earth's geology and geochemistry. It can have significant implications for the formation of unique mineral assemblages, the release of hydrogen gas as a potential energy source, and even the search for life beyond Earth. What are the serpentinization processes? There are several different serpentinization processes that can occur, depending on the specific conditions and minerals involved. These processes include Hydrothermal serpentinization this is the most common form of serpentinization and occurs when water interacts with ultramafic rocks at high temperatures and pressures. The water is usually derived from seawater or meteoric water that has infiltrated into the Earth's crust. This process can occur at mid-ocean ridges, where new oceanic crust is formed, and in subduction zones, where oceanic crust is recycled back into the mantle. Abyssal serpentinization 
This process occurs when ultramafic rocks are exposed to seawater at depths greater than 2,000 meters. The water that interacts with the rock is typically rich in magnesium and can lead to the formation of unique mineral assemblages. Alpine type serpentinization This process occurs in mountainous regions where ultramafic rocks have been uplifted to the surface. The water that interacts with the rock is typically derived from meteoric sources and can lead to the formation of unique mineral assemblages. Meteoritic serpentinization This process occurs when ultramafic rocks are exposed to water from meteorites. This can occur on the Earth's surface or in space, such as on asteroids or other planetary bodies. Tectonic serpentinization this process occurs when ultramafic rocks are subjected to intense pressure and deformation, such as during subduction or other tectonic processes. The water that interacts with the rock is typically derived from fluids that are released during these processes. Each of these serpentinization processes can lead to the formation of unique mineral assemblages and can have significant implications for the Earth's geology, geochemistry, and even the search for life beyond Earth. The study of serpentinization and its various processes is an active area of research for scientists from a variety of disciplines. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.